letting the fans know Blue all right. I'm hearing from the mother that Dre allegedly is having a nervous breakdown. She's sending me text messages between her and Dre's wife saying they. So this message is for my brother whom I love a lot. It's my little you know what I'm saying? In a jaw-dropping turn of events, Blueface's brother spills the tea on WAC 100, alleging a sinister plot that could shake the rap world to its core. According to him, WAC, along with their own mother, orchestrated a twisted scheme to control Blueface and his fortune, even manipulating his legal troubles. And brace yourselves, because the details he reveals will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the rap game. Keep getting people telling me that uh, Blueface's brother is somebody saying he's been stabbed up and then uh, what? I don't know. Blueface's woes don't seem to end as he's reportedly set to stay behind bars until July 2nd, 2024. His recent surrender to authorities for a probation violation has left fans stunned. Only a real player will go to jail looking like he's gonna go to the Himalayas. <laughs> hey, good luck, man. But what's truly shocking is the blame game unfolding on social media, with his mother pointing fingers at the women in his life. It's a saga of family drama and legal woes that's got everyone talking, Stay tuned as we uncover the truth behind the headlines. Now, if you've been following Blueface's journey closely, you'll know that WAC 100 isn't just any ordinary manager. He's been Blueface's guiding force, a mentor, a confidant, and by the looks of it, practically family. Recently, WAC took to his socials to showcase Blue's softer side, praising him for going all out with his daddy duties. Yep, that's right. Blueface, the rap sensation, donned the Spidey suit to celebrate his son's birthday, proving that behind the hardcore image lies a devoted family man. But hold on to your hats, folks, because the plot thickens faster than quicksand on a summer day. Blueface's own brother, Andre, has come forward with a bombshell revelation that could send shockwaves through the rap world. According to Andre, WAC 100 isn't the supportive mentor he portrays himself to be. No, 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 Andre spilled the piping hot tea, alleging that WAC is pulling strings behind the scenes, manipulating Blueface's every move like a puppeteer pulling the strings of his prized marionette. Blue is in high power where the celebrities go, Ballet County Jail. All right, I got eyes on him. Shout out to my homeboy, Mon Deuce from Devil Lane. You see, according to Andre, Wax got his hands deep in Blueface's pockets, managing every dime, every deal, every opportunity that comes his way. And if that wasn't enough to make you spill your drink in disbelief, here's the kicker Andre claims that the recent attack on Blueface in prison wasn't just a random act of violence. Oh no, it was allegedly orchestrated by none other than Wack himself. He had a little fight, that's it. Just to let her know she flipped out, started hollering and screaming. Maybe that's a mom. I don't know, maybe he was dead. Andre alleges that Wack fears losing control over Blueface, and to keep him firmly under his thumb, he's willing to go to extreme lengths, even if it means orchestrating attacks behind bars. Can you believe the audacity? It's like something straight out of a gritty crime thriller, but this time, the drama's unfolding in the real world of rap royalty. But hey, don't take our word for it. As the saying goes, there's always more than meets the eye. Now, if you've been keeping up with the latest on Blueface, you'd know that his manager, WAC100, recently dropped a bombshell during an Instagram live session. He spilled the tea that Blueface had a bit of a tussle behind bars, causing quite a stir among fans and leaving his mother, Carlissa Saffold, understandably shaken. He had a little fight, a little scuffle, that's it. We all know Blueface know how to fight, right? Just the fight. County jail, it happens. In the broadcast, WAC100 reassured everyone that Blueface is all right, emphasizing that it was just a minor scuffle. However, his nonchalant tone didn't sit well with everyone, especially considering the gravity of the situation. While WAC attempted to downplay the incident, labeling it as a typical occurrence in county jail, questions still linger about the true extent of what went down. Just letting y'all know the fans know Blueface all right, all right? Well, uh, spread the word, Blue's right, he ain't been stabbed up, he ain't been... Wax's account of the altercation contrasts sharply with the dramatic narrative spun by Blueface's brother, Andre. While Wax paints a picture of a minor scuffle in a county jail, Andre alleges a more sinister plot, implicating Wax in orchestrating attacks behind bars to maintain control over Blueface. With conflicting stories circulating, it's hard to discern where the truth lies. On one hand, Wax's dismissive tone and attempts to downplay the situation could be interpreted as damage control, aimed at protecting Blueface's image and reputation. Yet, Andre's accusations carry weight, tapping into the age-old trope of manipulative managers, exploiting their clients for personal gain. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you done, you done made enemies with everybody, bro, like you. In the court of public opinion, speculation runs rampant. Some fans question Wax's motives, pointing to his vested interests in Blueface's career and financial success. Others view Andre's claims with skepticism, considering the fraught history between Blueface and his family members. But let's back up a bit and shed some light on Andre Harvey, Blueface's older brother. Now, Andre's no stranger to adversity. Having spent 13 years behind bars, he knows a thing or two about life's rougher edges. Despite his past, Andre seems to have found his footing, carving out a life for himself as a sales manager in the City of Angels. 
It's clear from their social media interactions that Andre and Blueface share a tight bond, one that extends beyond blood ties. Andre has been a vocal supporter of his brother, standing by him through thick and thin. Yet, his recent revelations have thrown a wrench into the narrative, painting a picture of betrayal and manipulation at the hands of those closest to Blueface. I don't know what's going on. I need somebody to help tell me what's going on with my brother because we just haven't heard from him, you know, just to let us know what's going on. Enter Carlissa Saffold, Blueface's mother, who finds herself embroiled in a war of words with her own son and now Andre. In response to Andre's allegations, Carlissa didn't hold back, unleashing a tirade of accusations against her eldest son. She branded him as ungrateful, accusing him of fabricating stories for attention. Okay, it's time to stop that whining and stop that fighting and get on up, boy. You older than Jesus now. According to Carlissa, Andre's penchant for drama knows no bounds, and she even went as far as insinuating that he might be under the influence of substances, clouding his judgment and fueling his conspiracy theories. Don't get on here and tell no lies. I don't got to use nobody. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna go where I go and do what I do. But let's pause for a moment and consider the irony of it all. Carlissa's own past hasn't been devoid of controversy with some fans questioning her motives and sincerity. Accusations of being a hypocrite and a money-hungry opportunist have dogged her footsteps for years. Could it be that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree? After all, in the world of celebrity drama, truth is often stranger than fiction. And Blueface's brother, Andre Harvey, isn't the only one speaking out against WAC 100. Another storm is brewing, this time involving Christian Rock, Blueface's former flame and mother of his child. Recent events have thrown Christian into the spotlight, with shocking accusations flying left and right. It all started when Christian Rock recounted a terrifying ordeal that unfolded in her own driveway. Blueface's father, residing with Christian, found himself face to face with armed assailants attempting to rob their home. I think it's the same people. Cause this is not the first time uh, I got <laughs> and came up in here with some guns. Tires slashed and guns drawn. The situation escalated quickly, leaving the family shaken but thankfully unharmed. Christian, understandably distraught, took to social media to share her harrowing experience, sparking outrage and speculation among fans. But the drama didn't stop there. In a jaw-dropping twist, Christian accused none other than WAC 100 of orchestrating the attempted robbery. Since Blue got locked up, everybody been mad about who's in the house. Y'all don't like the fucking fall when y'all don't like my dummy. In a fiery Instagram live stream, she directly addressed WAC, alleging his involvement in sending weird people to their home while Blueface is incarcerated. According to Krizian, WAC's motive was clear to intimidate and remove her from Blueface's life. You got the video? You're weird. You don't got no video. You would have posted it like you post everything else. Lying. WAC 100 swiftly responded to these accusations, dismissing them as baseless. He claimed to have reviewed the security footage from Blueface's home, asserting that no robbery had taken place. However, Christine remained resolute, calling out WAC's denial and standing firm in her accusations. The tension escalated further as WAC 100 dropped a bombshell of his own. He revealed a series of text messages purportedly showing Chrissy and Rock's attempts to orchestrate harm against Blueface and his family. In these alleged exchanges, Chrissy appears to coordinate with an individual from Baltimore, discussing plans to target Blueface and his loved ones. These shocking revelations sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community, leaving fans reeling and questioning the true nature of the relationships surrounding Blueface. With accusations flying and tensions running high, one thing is certain the drama surrounding Blueface Christian Rock and WAC 100 is far from over. Amidst the chaos, one question looms large, can Blueface's brother, Andre Harvey, be trusted? While some may be quick to dismiss his claims as the rantings of a disgruntled family member, it's essential to consider the possibility that there might be truth buried within his allegations. After all, family dynamics in the world of fame and fortune can be as complicated as they come, with loyalty and betrayal often dancing on a razor's edge. And it's just not giving, it's just a mess, it's a hot Fucking mess. As for WAC 100, the notion of a manager wielding excessive control over their client isn't unheard of in the cutthroat industry of entertainment. Behind the glitz and glamour lies a darker reality, where power struggles and manipulation can lurk behind every deal and decision. While WAC vehemently denies any wrongdoing, the mere existence of such allegations casts a shadow of doubt over his intentions. While Andre may have been labeled as crazy by some, it would be remiss to completely discount his claims. In a world where truth is often obscured by smoke and mirrors, sometimes the most unlikely voices hold the key to unraveling the tangled web of deception. So as the saga continues to unfold, one thing remains clear the truth behind Blueface's tumultuous journey is far from black and white. As the whirlwind of drama surrounding Blueface, WAC 100, and their entangled relationships continues to sweep through the hip-hop scene, Fans are divided, with opinions ranging from outrage to skepticism. One fan, echoing the sentiments of many, expressed their frustration with WAC 100's alleged behavior, stating, WAC needed a beatdown for a long time, 
He needs to be put in his place. Who does he think he is? Bullying other people's kids. As a big man, he should be an example. He deserves what he gets. He needs to really humble himself. Stay out of young folks' business and relationships. Jealous old man, it seems. On the other hand, some fans point to individuals like Hallie, Blueface's sister, as potentially having valuable insights into the situation. One fan remarked, another person who you don't hear say much is Callie, she be in the trenches. Before we wrap up, we want to hear from you, our devoted viewers. What's your take on the unfolding drama surrounding Blueface, WAC 100, and their inner circle? Do you believe Andre's claims against WAC hold water? Or do you think there's more to the story? And what about Chrissy and Rock's accusations? Do you think there's any truth to her claims of WAC's involvement in the attempted robbery? Drop your thoughts and theories in the comments below. We can't wait to hear what you have to say. Until next time, stay tuned and stay curious.